to America on ships, right? So it, it, did everybody on the earth go into slavery on ships? Who went into slavery on ships, brother? That's right. Crazy. According to the Bible, the so-called blacks, the so-called Latinos, the so-called Native and similar Indians, and where the Lord showed the people. Hey, come that's your own. Come that's your own. Hey, brother, real quick, brother. I'm gonna, kick, I'm gonna continue right where the brother left off. Hey, Elder, if you don't mind coming up for a second, brother, I see you at the end. You can a mighty brother hold this poster up real quick to the spirit. So like the brother was showing y'all too. And I believe the brother right there with the child. According to the Bible, the so-called blacks, the so-called Latinos, the so-called Native and similar Indians, and where the Lord shows the people. Where God's chosen people, spread abroad in the four corners of the earth. Somebody go to James chapter 1 verse 1. And according to the Bible, we know these things because the Lord left a certain amount of prophecies to reveal to us in the last days who we are according to the Bible. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and start at verse 46. So bring this out real quick, James. This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes. To the who? To the 12 tribes. To the 12 tribes. And this Bible is to the 12 tribes, you know? Which are scattered abroad. So what? Which are scattered abroad. Real quick, Elder, according to the Bible, the Lord said the 12 tribes of Israel are scattered abroad. We're not black. Black is the color of most of our jackets that's out here. Black is literally a color out of the crayon box. There's no land called black. We cannot be African and American and from two different continents at the same damn time. If a Chinese man came from China, they're no longer Chinese, uh, sorry, they're not Chinese American, but they're Chinese. We consider them so-called Chinese. So how can we be American black or African American? It makes no damn sense. According to the Bible, we're the, we're the Lord's chosen people, and we're going to prove that. Bring this out of Deuteronomy 28 and of verse 45. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 45. Yeah. Real quick. Are you familiar with Moses? What do you know about Moses? Is anything? <laughs> what did Moses do? You know about Moses at all? Forget? Yeah, yeah you said what? He part of the Red Sea, right? Now, who did Moses part the Red Sea for? Was it for everyone in the earth? For the Israelites, not the Jews. Jew is short for Judah. But for the Israelites, the, the 12 tribes of Israel, we were in Egypt as slaves. And the Lord, go to um, Exodus chapter 1 and verse 11 real quick. And the Lord said, Moses. That's cool. That's cool right there. That's cool. And the Lord sent Moses to go and redeem the 12 tribes of Israel out of Egypt. What did Exodus 1 and 11? Verse 11. Therefore, they just sent over them taskmasters. Taskmasters. To afflict them. To what? To afflict them. When the Israelites were in Egypt, the Lord has sent taskmasters, which is another word for a slave master, to afflict the children of Israel while they were in Egypt. Hey, brother, when we got out those uh, slave ships, what happened over here in America? What happened in Detroit? What happened in the so-called East Coast and the so-called South? What happened to our people, the so-called blacks? When we was picking cotton? Then the Lord allowed the so-called white men to be set up over us as taskmasters, whipping our backs. I know we got signs out here. Can a brother point at, uh, pick up that poster right there? Look at these right here. These are, these are the Lord sending taskmasters against us. 
putting us in slavery, putting chains around our neck, whipping our back because we didn't pick enough cotton. That's what the same thing that happened when the children of Israel were in the land of Egypt. Because we don't care. To afflict them. Do what? To afflict them. With the burden. With the burden. It was burdensome upon the children of Israel. Hey, the same thing that happened in Egypt, it happened over here in America as well. Because we don't care. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, built them and raised them. But the more they afflicted them, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied. And the same thing happens over here. The more they afflict us, the more they try to conquer us. What happens to the so called blacks and Hispanics? We continue to multiply and multiply, and then you're looking at the men of the Lord right before your eyes, brother. Go to Deuteronomy 28, verse 45. This is Moses speaking to the children of Israel. Bring this out, kid. It's Deuteronomy 28, 45. Moreover, all these curses, all these what? All these curses, brother. Real quick with the black. Is, is a curse a good thing, brother? If somebody walked up and threw curses on you, is that a good thing? What are curses? Aren't that bad things, right? How about you, brother? You agree? And the elder, you agree, right? So the law said, moreover, all these bad things, read on, shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. Till what? Till thou be destroyed. The law said to the children of Israel, because they're not keeping the commandments, bad things are going to happen to them until they're destroyed, until they're overcame and destroyed by their enemies. Go to Leviticus 26, 17. What people on the earth would you say out of all the people, the white man, the Chinese man, the Arab man, the African man, the Japanese man, and the so-called black and Hispanic man, out of all those people we just listed, what people would you say bad things always happen to? The so-called black people, right? Would you agree? How about you, Elder? Would you agree? So the Lord said to the children of Israel, let's read on. Because the heart of his not. Because the heart of his not. Because they didn't listen, read on. Unto the beast of the Lord thy God. To keep his commandments. To what? To keep his commandments. And the statutes which he commanded thee. Because the children of Israel didn't keep the Lord's commandments, what's going to happen? And they shall be a penalty for a sign. His curses will be on the Israelites for a sign. Brother, how do I know that right now that's, that's Woodward uh, 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 Avenue right there? How do I know that's Woodward right there? The sign. How do I know that uh, uh, that says park, that's a parking lot nearby right there? Because we see a sign. So what do signs do? They reveal things to you, right? We're going to know who the children of Israel are because there's going to be signs on them to let you know who they are in the last days. Does that make sense? Let's read on, kid. And for a wonder, for a what? And for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever, how long? Forever. Now, how long is forever, brother? With the great hoodie. How long is forever? Eternity. So it's not just in Moses' generation. So in 2023, April 2023 AD, where we at right now, these curses are still on the children of Israel, right? So we read any one of these curses, they're only going to fit the children of Israel, right? Now, let's just say these curses fit us. Who would that make us according to the Bible, brother? Will we still be black men and black women and African uh, Americans? Or will we be the Israelites according to the Bible? Israelites according to the Bible, right? Go to verse 16. Verse number 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. The Lord said, Curse shall thou be in the city. Brother, I'm not from Detroit. I came over from Jersey. I drove out here about 10 hours just to speak to you, to speak to your son, to speak to this brother, and to speak to the elder right there. Now, upon my travel and coming out to Detroit, I see the same exact way the hoods and ghettos are set up in Jersey over here in Detroit. Why is that, brother? Why the hell did I drive 10 hours from Jersey and I'm looking at the same damn conditions? What people are living in the hoods, the slums, the ghettos, and at the bottom? What people are in poverty, brother? What people are being shot and killed by the so-called white man and even by their brothers? What people are living in damn houses full of damn rats and roaches and at the bottom with their damn buildings decaying? What people are living at the bottom, brother? That's a question. Anybody can answer. Us, right? But the Lord said, who is going to be cursing the cities? Who is Moses speaking to? Did he say he's speaking to the black man? Or did he say he's speaking to the Israelites? So if we fit that curse right there, then who are we according to the Bible of that curse right there? Israelites, right? Right. You got to take the mic. You can stand up here, bro. You can stand up here, bro. Israelites, man. You said what? It is 
gay rights. Yeah. All praise to the Most High. But don't go nowhere, brother. We just getting started. All, all praise to the Most High. Hey, brother, before you go, you got to get a flyer. You can't just go off that verse alone, brother. All right, brother, get, get two more verses. Get two more verses, brother. All praise to the Most High. Let, let's finish that out real quick. 21 to be 28, 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. When the Lord said, Cursed shall thou be in the city. The ones that's cursing the cities, unfortunately. But guess what? Before you go, we're going to show you how to reverse that. Let's read on, King. And cursed shall thou be in the field. The Lord said, And cursed shall thou be in the field. That's the same thing you're seeing right there. Us being cursed in the slave fields. Right? Picking cut. Sugar cane to back up. Being uh, damn whipped until we did, uh, until we had to pick more, and so on and so forth. And that's the Lord saying that the children of Israel, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, and we will live in slavery. That's what the Lord said right there. Jump to verse 41 real quick. Verse number 41. Thou shalt be cut sons and daughters, but thou shalt not endure them, for they shall be as the cut feet.
sanctuary. Are we doing? So he chose priests to claim this conversation. What did Judas do? So he chose priests to claim this conversation. Hey, hey, hey. So he chose priests to claim this conversation. Who are we? He chose priests to claim this conversation. Again, he chose priests to claim this conversation. Again, he chose priests to claim this conversation. Are we doing? Such as have pleasure in the law. Such as have what? Such as have pleasure in the law. Devil. No, the Lord, he uh, made all the, the water bread, 
Oh, he did. He did. That's when Moses split the, uh, split the waters and turned them into blood. Right? Go to the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 4. Right? Jeremiah chapter 11 and verse 4. Give me Deuteronomy 5 and 6. Right there. Deuteronomy 5 and verse 6. Yeah. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of where? Out of the land of Egypt. From the house of bondage. What is Egypt? From, From the, the house, house of bondage. Of bondage. So Egypt, a lot of times in the scriptures, is synonymous with the word bondage, slavery, captivity. Right? Watch this. Uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 11, 11 and 4. Yeah. Which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. Out of the, out of the land, land of Egypt. Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt. Read. From the iron furnace. From the iron furnace. Now, if I put you inside of a furnace, I'm a furnace. Hey, you ain't going to be right. comfortable, right? Because that's how Egypt was for us. Right, right so now we're going to put it back in context, all right? You with me still? Yeah. All praises, right? Bring this up. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Yeah. Right, hold on, listen to this, brother. Hey, brother, listen to this right here. Right, Rick? And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right. What Egypt mean? Egypt mean they all over with. They done. Well, Egypt is going to fall in these last days. Right. right? But right. Right. Egypt right. means bondage and slavery. Right. You understand? Right, Rick? Again with ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. He said with ships. Right? Now, when you read this, they just left out of the land of Egypt. Right? right? It was 1406 BC. They just left out of the land. But the Lord is saying that, hey, they're gonna, he's going to bring them back again, but this time with ships. That's right. Right? What is that talking about? How did we get here, Elder? How did we get to this land? On a boat. On a boat. How did we get to this land, brother? On a boat, right? Didn't we just read that in the scriptures? Yeah. We need to read it again? Right, read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right, in bodies of slavery again, read. With ships. With what? With, With ships. ships. In the Bible. Right, read on. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Mean exactly how he said it. That's how it's going to happen. Now, hold on. Right, you agree that we came over here on slavery on slave ships, right? You too, right? Who else came over here on slavery on ships? The white man. Right? Uh, Did they get put in slavery on ships, though? No. Right, no, they was the ones driving the boat, right? right. So the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans came over here on slave ships, right? That's right. So, now, did that happen to anybody else? No. Right, it just happened to us, right? Yeah. So by default, doesn't that mean we have to be the Israelites in the Bible? Right, yeah. We are. Right, we are. Right. That's right. We are, man. That's right, man. right, tell them who you, what your nationality is. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Right, all praise to the Most High. But knowing that you're an Israelite, it's more than that. Right, right. It's not just oh, all right. I'm an Israelite. And what's next? There's things that come after that. You understand? I gotta follow the rules and regulations of being an Israelite. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the book of, uh, I, want, I want you to get Isaiah, go to uh, chapter uh, 1 and 19, but I want you to go to, bring this out, into this chapter 17 and 11. Book of Exodus, chapter 17, verse 11, it reads thus. Yeah. Listen to this, man. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hand. When he did what? When Moses held up his hand. Fact started at 10. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him, and fought with Amalek. And did what? And fought with Amalek. And Moses. Aaron and her went up to the top of the hill. Right. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hand uh -huh. that Israel prevailed. Israel what? That Israel, Israel prevailed. prevailed. So Moses had to go up into the top of the mountain and he had to hold his hands up, huh? Right. And when he held his hands up, guess what? We prevailed against our enemies. Yeah, and the water split and part of the sea. Well, that's a, that's a little bit before, but that's right. Moses did do that as well, though. Right, but in this instance, we at war with Amalek right now. Right? Uh, he went into the mountain and held his hands up. Right, give me Ecclesiastes four and uh, uh, four and nine. When he held his hands up, what happened? And hey, we won. We fought against our enemies and we won the battle. That's right? right. But read on. And when he let go his hand, Amalek prevailed. Right. And when he let his hand, I don't, now I don't know if you ever had to do this, but you know, many years ago, hey, when I was in, uh, when I was younger, hey, I had to put my arms up and I had to keep them there when I got in trouble. Right. right. You keep your arms up for a while, and they start getting heavy. Right. Right. You understand? So Moses got his arms up, you know, but hey, he, he would get tired and put them down every now and then. But when he put his arms down, guess what? We lost. 
we would lose. We was dying. You know? But Moses, hands were heavy. They was what? But Moses, hands were heavy. And they took a stone. And they did what? And they took a stone. They left. And they took a stone. They watched them fall. And they took a stone. They took a stone and did what? And put it under him. And he sat there on. And Aaron and her stayed up his hands. Stayed his hands up, man. They was being their brother's keeper, man. They was right there with him like, hey, I got you. When you you need brothers around you, that's going to help you. That's right. And all these brothers that you see around you, and they'll be there for you. That's right. Ain't that right, brothers? Hands up and help you stay in this fight in the last days. Right? Right, the one, the one on the one side, yeah, one on one side, read. and the other on the other side, and his hands were staying, and his hands were staying. He had wavered, you understand? And hey, they were staying, man, read. Until the going down of the sun. Straight like that, right? Bring this up. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. Yeah. Are better than one because they added the reward for their land. For if they fall, like they started uh, uh, read that again. Uh, Ecclesiastes chapter four verse nine. Two are better than one. What the Lord said? Two, Two are better than one. Two is better than one, brother. Wouldn't you agree with that? Yeah. You know, what's that song? They say, one is the loneliest number. Right? It's, 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 hey, when you alone, <laughs> when you alone, hey, it can be now I'm not. Now I'm not. You said what? Now say it I'm again. Not. Now I'm not. Yeah. Right, right, read on. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Uh -huh. For if they fall, for if they what? For, for if they, they fall, fall the one will lift up his fellow. Brother, when you fall, and you'll have a brother right there to help you up, man. Right, right. And pick you up, man. When you're going through the trials and tribulations, then you'll have a brother to eight. help you in those days, man. Okay, so this is not call, y'all. That's what? right. Yeah, that's the email, brother. Okay. Right, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, the email right there on the side, you got the uh, YouTube channel. Can I call you questions I want to? <laughs> yeah, but you can hit the email as much as you want to, brother. Right. Anytime right. you got a question, hit the email, brother. Right. You understand? Follow the YouTube channel. And there's other stuff on there, too, as well. You got the uh, YouTube, uh, the uh, social media you. site. Can I frame this? Yeah, brother, you can do what you want with it, brother. No, I want to keep it. Yeah, yeah, we want you to keep it, brother. It's yours. It's yours. To use it. Right? Oh, to man. use. Right, right, read on. But woe to him. But what? But woe to, to him. him. I mean, destruction, read. That is alone that when is he what? falls. That, that is alone when he falls. Woe to him that he's alone, man. Huh? You don't want to be alone in this sure. city. You don't want to feel like you're the only Israelite in the city, man. Huh? The only Israelite in the world. Well, right. when Jesus coming, because I'm ready to go to heaven. Uh, hey. We be too good. Hey, 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 we're ready for the Lord to come back. Yeah. Hey. Right. You need a book of Second Chronicles chapter fifteen. Right, Second Chronicles fifteen and start at verse uh, seven. This is the book of Second Chronicles chapter fifteen, verse seven. Right. Now, be ye strong, therefore. What the Lord said. Be ye strong, therefore. What the Lord said. Be ye strong, therefore. We gotta be strong these last days, brother. I got, I got right, we gotta. You said, huh? Hey, you gotta keep that belief in these last days. All right? You say you got that strong belief, but we gotta be strong in these last days, Rick. Right? And let not your hands be weak. What the Lord said? And let not your hands be weak. For your works. For your what? For, for your works. For your what? For, for your works. Don't think that the Most High don't see you trying to keep the commandments, brother. You think the, you think the Lord didn't see that great act you just did? When you threw that cigarette out? The Lord is seeing these things, man. Right? Right. And your work, hey, it'll be rewarded. Three. For your work shall be rewarded. Straight like that, man. All right. right? We'll finish reading this. Come. Read God, verse 9. But yeah. woe to him that is alone uh -huh. when he falleth, for he has not another to help him up. For he, what? For he, he has not another to help him up. Right, you will have somebody else to help you up in that day. Now, right here, right. book of Isaiah chapter 35 and start at verse 4. Are we on? Come, verse 10. Yeah. So, verse 11. Again, if two lie together, then they have he. Right, hey, if, you, hey, if two people lie together, hey, you'll, have, you'll be one. You'll be warmer than you would be if you weren't nobody next to you. Right? Right. But how can one be warm alone? Right. How can you? How can you stay on fire? No, you, stay you, need, yourself, you, need, you need somebody else to keep you warm. That's right, man. Huh? That's right. And that's how it is, and it's true. You need brothers around you that'll help you and encourage you in these last days to keep going. So where you gonna be right? at tomorrow? Hold on, real quick. We got well. 
I mean, brother, we, we ain't gonna be out here tomorrow unless brothers do overtime here. But right, we ain't gonna be out here, but we, the brothers is out here every uh every Friday and Saturday. Right, right, every Friday and Saturday. What time brothers out here? 530. 5.30 on Fridays. Yeah. And then on Saturdays, y'all here right, when? Right here, right here. 3, three o'clock. Three, and then 3.30 on uh, Saturdays. Right That's here. Right. right here. Where brothers be at? Brothers be right here? God, God they'll be right here, brother. Ah. They'll be right here. Right. Right, we got a Bible study. Ah. 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 the show. All praises to the most high. Right, bring this up. The book of Isaiah, chapter 35, verse 4, and it reads thus. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong. Be strong. Be what? Be strong. Fear not. Do what? Fear not. Behold, your time or what? Are you right? Your time will come with vengeance. With what? With vengeance. Hey, the most high coming back, man. Right. And he coming back with vengeance. Read. Right. Right. Even God. With a recompense. With a what? With a recompense. He will come and save you. With the Lord coming back to do it. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. The Lord is coming. Hey, that's right. coming back to save you. Lord willing, man. Right. But we got to make sure we keep in these laws, such the commandments in the last right. day to have a faith in the most high. Right. That's right. You keep Every it. Day. You keep it close to you, right? And you that's read right. it and learn about I'm the history. Read it. All praise oh, to the oh, most high. Lord willing, man. Right? Know. And then utilize, your, uh, utilize that's these beautiful. brothers that's out here, John. man. Come out here Humble, and get the word, man. Right. And be I'm built right. up through the spirit. You understand? So you can continue to learn, right? Read that one more time. Book of Isaiah, chapter 35, verse 4. Read it out. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Like that, right? Bring this up. Deuteronomy 22 and verse number 12. Yeah. Thou shalt make thee bridges upon the four corners of thy passions. So I get uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse number 12. Bring it out. And it reads thus. Right, so these are the things that you got to do. The brother went over a couple of them with you earlier. Like what? What can't you do with your beard? Uh, don't shave it, let it grow. That's, That's right. right. That's right. You gotta uh, go to the book of uh, go to the book of Second Samuel, Second Samuel chapter nine, and start at verse uh, four. Right, bring this up. Deuteronomy ten and twelve. Say yeah. now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all His ways, and to love Him, and to what? And, and to, to love, love Him. How you know you love the Lord? Cause I love him. Right? How you do that? How do you show somebody? How do you show the most high God? I help other people to be like the Lord's kids. Yeah, you can help the Lord's kids, right? Wow. But it's something that you got to do. You got to keep the commandments. Pray. I got to pray every day. Yeah, yeah. You got to do that too. And do what? That's right. You do got to ask for forgiveness. Give me the book of Syrac, chapter 21, and verse 1. Right? The brother went over repentance with you earlier, right? Give me John 14 and 15. Right. I want and give me, uh, give me the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter six, and verse fourteen. So what you got? So right, bring this up. This is Sirach, chapter twenty-one, verse one. Bring it out, my son. Hast thou sinned? Right. Have you sinned before, brother? Yeah, I sinned before, but I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> God, that's right. That's right. 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 Do so no more. The Lord said, Do, do so, so no more. more. Do so no more. Right, so yeah, we've all sinned, brother. But guess what? Hey, we put those things off and we do so much more. Right. But as pardon, but as what? But as, as pardon, pardon for thy former sins. Yeah, you gotta ask for forgiveness. You gotta ask pardon for those things. I pray to do bad things, but well, I have to ask for forgiveness. I do good things. Lord willing, man. Lord willing. And so when you know what you do wrong, and you gotta uh, ask the Most High God for forgiveness. That's right. You understand? All right, what you got? Bring this up. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6. Start at 17. Chapter 6 and verse 17. For the very true, for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline. And the care of discipline is love. Right, the care of discipline is love at the end of the day. Now watch this, read. And love. And what? And love. Is the keeping of her law. It's the what? Is the keeping of her law. So love is the keeping of the laws. Right, so if you love the most high God and you got to keep his commandments to the best of your ability. That's right. You understand right. that? All praise to the most high, right? What you got? Second Samuel. Uh, Kyle, yeah, bring this out. Samuel uh, 9 or uh, 10. Second Samuel chapter 10, verse 4. 
Wherefore, her nun to David's servants and shaved off the one half of their beards. And shaved off the one half of their beards. And cut off their garments in the middle, even to their butts off. And sent them away. When they told it unto David, he sent to meet them, because the men were greatly ashamed. And the king said, Tarry at Jericho, what? Tarry at Jericho, until your beards be grown. Your beards be grown back. So, hey, David didn't even want him. He said, hey, look, just stay in Jericho until your beards grow back. You understand? Because like the brother brought out early in the Bible dictionary, okay. that's a uh, badge of dignity, man. Right? And it's forbidden for us to cut our beards. So next time we see you, are you going to have more hair on your, uh, on your face? All praise to the most high. Lord, 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 man. Right? I promise you. All, pra all praises. Right? You eat pork. Nope, I don't like pork. All praise to the most high, right? Your brother went through that with you, right? So now, do you know when the Sabbath day is? I want to be bad and do the things that the Lord don't want me. Right, but do you know when the, you know what the Sabbath day is? Right, go to Exodus chapter thirty-five and one. Right, give me Jeremiah chapter seventeen and verse twenty. Get out, teach them all. Go to Exodus chapter thirty-five and verse number one. Get out. And Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together and said unto them, These are the words which the Lord has commanded that ye should do them. Six days shall work be done. Six days shall work be done. Six days to do whatever you need to do. Okay. You understand? Whatever you got to do, hey, you got six days to complete those tasks. I, I, I got to go home. I got to go home. I got to go home and, you know, and take care of my house. Well, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. You do. Right? That's uh, second edge of chapter 14. But read on. But on the seventh day. But on the seventh day, what, you know when the seventh day is? I go to church. You said you go to church. I pray. Well, yeah, it's good to pray, but brother, we the church. All right, you right. That's right. That's what, that's say it again. I got church in me. That's right. 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 That's right. But listen to this, right? So on the seventh day, you understand? Do you know when the seventh day of the week is? Yeah. When is it? You sure? Yeah. You ever order the package? Or if you ever get something, right? They tell you, they yeah, say something like three to five business days. Okay. That fine. business day not gonna start until when? It's not going to start till Monday. Why? Because the first business day of the week is Monday. But the first day of the week, right, you understand, right. is Sunday. Yeah. So if the first day of the week is Sunday, what's the seventh day of the week? Uh, Friday. Close, right? So that's right. Saturday. You understand? Chiefly, it would be Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Right, bring this up. This is Genesis chapter 1, verse 5. And Yahweh called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening, and the evening, and the morning were the first day. Even in the morning is the first day. That's right. And so Friday when the sun, hey, Friday at sundown, hey, that's the Shabbat. That's right. That's the seventh, that's the start of the seventh day of the week. That's right. You understand? Now read on. Come, reading on. Six days shall work be done. But on the seventh day, there shall be to you an holy day. What? An holy day. That seventh day, which is Saturday, hey, that's a holy day unto the Lord. Okay. Right. A Sabbath of rest to the Lord. A Sabbath of rest to the Lord. So you got to understand, the Most High God is commanding you to rest. He's commanding you to chill out. He's commanding you to open up the book. Right? And learn more about your heritage. That's okay. what you can do on the Sabbath day. Well, this is my first time we sitting on you. Huh? <laughs> well, Lord willing, it's not the last time. Right. right, Lord. Whosoever doeth work therein shall be put to death. What? Shall be put to death. You don't want to be working on the Sabbath day. No, no, no. no. Right, because why? Why don't you want to work on that day? That's a rest day. That's, that's right. 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 But that's a rest day. And the Most High God gave that to the children of Israel to rest. That's right. Right, and that's what we ought to do on that day. Right, we got Jeremiah 17. This is Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 20. Yeah. And say unto them, Hear ye the word of the Lord, ye kings of Judah, and all Judah, and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, that enter in by these gates. Thus saith the Lord, Take heed to yourselves, and bear no burden on the Sabbath day. And bear no burden on the Sabbath day. You don't want to bear no burdens on the Sabbath day, right? Right. 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 You want to rest. Yeah, right. Yeah, no days. 
nor bring it in by the gates of Jerusalem, nor carry forth the burden out of your houses on the Sabbath day. Hey, don't be trying to take the trash. You get in the trash. You trying to take right, the trash right. out of the take it to the nah. Hey, you right. want to right. You don't want to carry nothing or no burdens out on the Sabbath day. Right. right. Why? One more time. Why don't you want to do no work? Or carry no burdens on the Sabbath day. Because that's a rest day. That's, that's right. right. It's a rest day. Right? And that's what we ought to do on that day is rest. You know? Neither do ye any work, but hollow ye the Sabbath day. You gotta hollow the Sabbath day. As I commanded your fathers. Straight like that. As the Most High God commanded us to do. Huh? That's right. Right? So what's your nationality? Right nationality is Israelite. That's right. Hey! You're Israelite. Can you eat pork? Hey! Yo. Can you, can you shave your beard? No. What you got to do on the seventh day of the week? That's right. 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 What is it called? Uh, yeah, kind of got you. Uh, it's called the Sabbath day. It's called the Sabbath day. Sabbath day. Sabbath day. Sabbath day. That's right. right? And that's I don't the, know a lot, but I know a it's, all, it's all good. Uh, right? Give me the book of Ezra chapter 7 and verse... Uh, give me Ezra uh, 7 and 10. Right? Bring that out. Ezra 7 and 10. I got you. Look at Ezra, chapter 7 and verse 10, and read up. For Ezra had prepared his heart. See, I did what? Had prepared his heart. And your heart is your mind. Ezra prepared his mind, read, to seek the Lord the Lord. What? To seek the Lord the Lord. That's what you got to do in these last days, elder. You got to seek the Lord the Lord. You understand? So you got to think, you got to ponder upon, and you got your Bible, right? And you holding it close, I see, and you holding it tight, and you got to use that Bible and seek the law of the Lord. Then. You understand? Read. And to do it. And to what? And to do it. Just know. And to do it. And you got to do it. I'm going to do it. All praise to the most high, man. Right? He said, I'm going to do it. More and more, man. Right, read on. And to teach in Israel statutes and judgments. Straight like that. And that's what we want you to do, brother. Now I know I'm an Israelite. That's right! That's right, yeah. man. That's right. That ain't, uh, uh, the brother still hold uh, Isaiah chapter uh, 1 and 19. Isaiah 1 and 19. And give me uh, 1 Samuel chapter 12, verse 14. Brother this is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 1, verse 19. Why ye be willing and obedient? Why ye be willing and obedient, brother? Read. Ye shall eat the good of the land. Don't you want to eat the good of the land? Yeah. Don't you want your own homeland that's not defiled? Right. right. Would you rather have right. streets paved with gold instead of labor and brick and cement? Right. Yeah. Right. Read. But if ye refuse. But if ye what? But if ye refuse. Read. And rebel. He shall be devoured with the sword. Straight like that. Do you want to get devoured with the sword, brother? Right. I, hey, who am I? Do you understand? Right? That's a smart thing. Right? None of us, we don't want to be devoured with the sword. Huh? Right. right? So what do we do? We take heed to the commandments. That's right. Right? Read off. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Straight like that. That's what it is. Right? Read this. 1 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 14. Bring it If ye will fear the Lord and serve him and obey his voice, and not rebel against the commandment of the Lord. Then shall both ye and also the king that reigneth over you continue following the Lord your God. But if you will not obey the voice of the Lord, but rebel against the commandment of the Lord, then shall the hand of the Lord be against you. You don't want the hand of the Lord to be against you. Do you? Be on his side. That's right. You want to be on his side, right? And Lord willing, you on the Lord's side, man, when he come back, right? So give me the book of Micah chapter 2 and verse 12, and give me the book of Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 5. Hello. Ah. It's the book of Micah chapter 2 and verse number 12. Yeah. And it reads thus, I will surely assemble, oh Jacob, oh who? Oh, oh Jacob, Jacob. all of me, I will surely gather. The remnant of Israel. Uh -huh. I will put them together as the sheep of Basra, right. as the flock in the midst of their fold. Uh -huh. They shall make great noise by reason of the multitude of men. Right. The breaker is come up. The, what? the, the breaker, breaker is come up. up. Before them, they have broken up and have passed through the gate and are gone out by it. And their king shall pass before them. And their what? And their king shall pass before them. Our king is going to pass before us when the Lord comes back, man. Right. He's going to be before us, and we're going to uh. be before him as mighty men of the Lord in the last days. You understand? Uh. Right? So bring this up. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 6. Yeah. In his days, Judah shall be saved. Judah shall what? Judah shall be saved. Read. 
in Israel shall dwell safely. Uh -huh. And this is his name, whereby he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Uh -huh. Therefore, behold, the days come. The what? The, the days come. come. We got a long time. The days days come. Come. 500 more years. The, the days come. come. Read, saith the Lord, that they shall no more say, the Lord liveth which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Hey, we're not, hey, when that day comes, we're not going to be saying, hey, blessed be the Lord God that saved the Israelites out of Egypt, man. Right, we might right. not even be talking about it. I don't know, man. Right. We might not be talking about the Passover, man. Right. And we might be talking about when the Lord brought us up. Where we? Wake up. But the Lord liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. Out of the work. Out, out of the north country. Out of the work. Out of the north country. The next thing is out of the north country. Out of the north country, man. Right? So I see y'all brothers right here, and we got another mighty speaker coming up that's going to edify y'all in these last days, you understand? He's going to teach y'all things, right, that the school systems, the government, and anything else can't teach y'all. All right, so if y'all got a couple more minutes to stay, hey, more will y'all get edified. So with that, Kwan Yashal! Kwan Yashal! Kwan Yashal! We ship! We what? We ship! We what? We ship! How did we get to America? On ships, right? So it, it, did everybody on the earth go into slavery on ships? Who went into slavery on ships, brother? That's right. Like crazy. Right, right, right. Oh, you're going crazy.